Blockchain innovation happens in phases. And it typically looks like this, you know, a really long period of consistent, steady effort, and then boom, something major happens. We've seen this in the past with cryptocurrency bull runs that send the markets to new all-time highs and the technological innovation that usually leaps forward whenever that happens. And it's very possible that we're at the beginning of one of these new innovation cycles because the space has matured a lot since the last 2017 bull run. And this has created a fertile technological landscape for major players to create new on-ramps into the ecosystem. It's not just cryptocurrency this time. You know, we have dApps, we have decentralized finance. And in this video, I wanna talk about a major player that's experimenting with a new on-ramp that could bring lots of new crypto users. And if they pull this off and other major players follow, then we could potentially see millions of new users in this space. So before we get into that, if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that sounds good to you, then smash the like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you wanna learn how to become a blockchain master step by step, then I can show you how to do exactly that. Just head on over to dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started. Reddit is a top 10 website on the internet with hundreds of millions of monthly active users. And they just launched their new community points feature that actually rewards users with crypto tokens. And guess which blockchain they're using? That's right, Ethereum. The exact technology that I've used to create hundreds of tutorials on this channel. And this is a huge deal for blockchain adoption. Now, Reddit has done a really good job of implementing this into their platform. And I think they can be a leader that others can model. So in this video, I'm going to show you how Reddit has done this and also the potential upside for the blockchain space on the whole. So the potential upside is massive. Between 2017 and 2019, Reddit grew from 330 million monthly active users to 430 million. So, you know, just added 100 million users in two years and they get 21 billion monthly screen views. Okay. And, you know, uh, the cryptocurrency subreddit here has over a million users. And that doesn't even count the number of people who just read this thing and never actually sign up. So yeah, they have a ton of traffic. And even if just a small number of these people actually convert into using their new community points feature, that's still a lot of people. One of the reasons that this new community points feature is so powerful is that it allows users to actually own a piece of their online community. Okay. So, you know, Reddit already has the concept of karma where you get rewarded for posting good content, but this takes it to the next level, all right? So basically you can receive tokens whenever you uh, provide value to the community. And this is a powerful incentive mechanism because you can spend these points on you know special features and use them to tip other users. And you can't buy the points either. You actually have to earn them, which is really clever because it looks like a way to dodge some of the regulatory hurdles that other projects face in this space. Like if they're trying to sell their tokens, right? So of course, that's not legal advice necessarily. That's just my take on it. And the best part of this is you actually own everything. You know, everything's stored in your own user controlled wallet. And we can also learn a lot from Reddit's onboarding workflow here, okay? So they have this little explainer that you can step through that talks about the benefit of this feature, right? They talk about, uh, you know, a free open internet. And this actually explains the benefit of blockchain technology. <laughs> that's a really big problem with other uh, projects that I see where people try to use blockchain as a marketing word, like it's actually going to help them get users. But a lot of times people don't care like whether they're using blockchain or not. They don't actually care about the technology itself. They just want to know what the benefit is. That's one of the big reasons that people buy Bitcoin without understanding how it works because they think the price can go up. And we saw the same thing at the peak of the last crypto cycle where people were just investing in ICOs without really understanding them because they thought they could make a lot of money. Okay. So right now, the community points are a very experimental feature that they've launched in two major subreddits, okay? Uh, the first one, of course, is our cryptocurrency, which I showed you a minute ago, and also uh, the Fortnite subreddit. And you can already see all the usage statistics here over at dapradar.com. And this makes perfect sense, right? Because the cryptocurrency subreddit has a lot of people, you know, over a million users, and they already understand the technology, so it's a great place to try this out. And we can see some good adoption here. And I'm really excited that they've tried this out on the Fortnite subreddit as well. Because, I mean, they have over a million users, you know, 1.2 million. And think about it. You know, gamers typically uh, take to cryptocurrency pretty naturally. It's sort of like a duck to water. I mean, they are, they're often interested in novel technology. And these community points would be a great uh, feature for them because, you know, gamers have a really strong sense of community, especially for games like Fortnite. And choosing Fortnite is such a big deal because it could get so many, you know, Fortnite users interested in blockchain technology. I mean, think about it. 
What if Fortnite themselves actually started issuing crypto tokens, uh, started using like blockchain for in-game assets? That would be another big fish that could drive blockchain adoption hard. And I don't think it's out of the question because you've already seen a lot of games built on the blockchain. You know, some of them are dApps that, you know, run fully natively on the blockchain and others uh, incorporate, you know, a hybrid model. And if a leader like Fortnite does something like this successfully, then this is going to have a compounding effect. You won't just get the Fortnite users, you'll get all the other games that want to follow their success and all of their users too. And it would just keep multiplying. I mean, you see this kind of trend happen in tech all the time. You know, usually someone's first to come in and solve a problem, prove it, and then, you know, competitors flow into the space, try to copy their success and maybe make it a little bit different, try to get more people. And then this, you know, just explosion of adoption happens. Reddit has a shot at becoming one of these leaders because their model is so well executed. So, you know, whether you're a crypto startup or, you know, maybe you already have a business, you can learn a lot from Reddit. You can just launch a utility token like this and grow your user base organically. So if you're trying to start a business, uh, this could be a way to get tokens in the hands of your users. All right. This might be like an alternative to the ICO model, you know, the standard model where you pay for tokens and then receive them that way. Um, or it could be incorporated alongside that. I'm really familiar with this process because I've helped a number of businesses launch uh, ICOs from square one. And they're always looking for creative ways to you know, get their tokens in the hands of new users. And if you're an existing business that has an online community of some kind, you can do this too, okay? You know, maybe you have a website, a social media audience, email list, Facebook group, anything like that. This is something you could potentially do, okay? You know, I've done this personally for my membership program, Blockchain Mastery University. I issue people tokens inside of there as part of being members of that community. And there's all kinds of ways that you can come up with, you know, really creative ways to increase engagement and reward people for doing things, uh, for taking specific actions, right? So, you know, this is really powerful, as we saw in the Reddit example, because it gives uh, users this sense of ownership over their community. And I think we're just starting to scratch the surface to see how we can incorporate this online. I mean, I've even thought about doing this with my own YouTube channel, right? Uh, and maybe experimenting with how I can, you know, use non-fungible tokens uh, for the audience. So stick around. Uh, we might see something like that in the future. So this is a big deal, everybody. And I'm excited to see how this experiment pans out. If a major player like Reddit can pull this off, then we're certainly going to see other online communities follow them. And if we can see adoption in the gaming sector, then there's definitely going to be more games that come along too. And they'll bring their users with them and it will have this big compounding effect. And if we truly are at the beginning of a crypto cycle, like I talked about at the beginning of the video, then the next boom could be really big. Yeah, I mean, big. So if you want to get ahead of all the other developers who are going to flock to this space uh, whenever that happens, then you can get started mastering blockchain now. Just head on over to my YouTube homepage and find any of the tutorials listed there, okay? They're basically like Udemy courses, but they're free. You know, you can just start them now. And if you want to take the next step or just, you know, take a massive shortcut entirely, then I can show you how to master blockchain step by step from scratch over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. Don't worry, you don't have to know anything about blockchain or be a programmer to get started today. All right, that's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.